everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are setting up my Week in the Life um, album. I am going to do a 6x8 once again. Week in the Life, if you are unfamiliar, is a project that Allie Edwards has complete um, has developed and now offers um, annual products to kind of help tell the stories uh, of the week in the life. Uh, she's also done, um, in case you aren't familiar, like Day in the Life. She is also the creator of December Daily. And I find her Allie Edwards style and approach um, very inspiring for my memory keeping. I have completed a Week in the Life album since uh, the year 2017, I want to say. So I did one the year before I became a mom and now I've done one every year since um, becoming a mom. So now my daughter is six. Yeah, so I have seven years of albums on my shelf. Um, for the purchasing of products, I purchased the main kit, the add-on you and me kit, the banner acetate banners, and then the 10 by 8 acetate sheets that have the days of the week. In the past, like my first few years before I started purchasing Allie Edwards, I used to just pick a collection kit either from Simple Stories or, you know, Cartabella and use those um, products to... Um, make a cohesive album for my uh, collection slash album. And ever since, uh, let me see, I'm looking up at my shelf, since 2020 now, yes, 2020, I have ever since then have purchased the Allie Edwards kit for it. Uh, and I think I did it as almost like a reward for myself. Like, let's see, Ty, if you can be consistent with it, not buying the kits. Um, not that these are terribly expensive, but I always just thought, well, I can make my own kit. So I, I did, you know, I worked with my stash and that's how I got it done. But I do, I have 10, I have, I'm going to say learned, I have grown to appreciate the products she offers per year. What I also will say is like one time, I think I bought the kit and then something had, or no, maybe I did do the project. Maybe that was like the first year. And then later on, like these, this kit will go on sale like around Christmas time. And I purchased the week in the life kit from that, that year during a sale. So then the upcoming year, cause we do this once a year, I then use that kit. So I was always like a year behind with the kit. And I think I finally caught up at some point where now I can be current is all I was trying to say. So I will leave the playlist linked also down below. I do believe last year or it was the year before that, that I did a major breakdown on like my approach to it. And so those rules and that kind of uh, understanding of the project still holds true. This is a project to take a deep dive at the, as Ali says, this is a deep dive project into the daily rhythms of your life. And it, and believe it or not, everything and, and not everything, but most things you think stay the same, but they really don't. And it's finding those uh, photographic opportunities that make this project enjoyable. For me, especially um, being a mom, obviously my child is growing, her her school year changes, uh, what she eats, her, her routines, her schedule changes. So those are things I look for. Um, but then even you know, things for me change. And so that's what I like to document. Um, so sometimes they are, you know, I always say my, my photos are always taken in a snapshot of that moment. And, and it's a, it's a fun project. I also believe I will leave link down below my flip throughs from each of the albums because they, they are here on my channel, completed album flip throughs. So though I will leave as much as I can in regards to week in the life down below. So Let's put this together. So I have the acetate sheets, which I also think I'm in here. I know that there are uh, like the Monday, Tuesday words are in here. So those might uh, decorate it. I have my so far the, the two by twos because I know I wanted to do a two by two. So I made sure I just pulled out seven of these. So I will need more page protectors. If you are familiar with the kit this year, so I'm not doing an unboxing of it because I will show you that I just have it organized per day. So... Each day repeats. What makes this project successful is finding a formula and knowing that A, you need like three, three by four photos and two, four by six photos in order for, for you to always kind of get enough. So I'm going to, we're going to put that together. And so for every day, that's something that says Monday, we have a three by four card. There is an acetate piece that will probably go on my full page photo for the day. Every day has a pocket card 
this is how the kit came with an insert on there. There are seven of these to document something that happens morning, afternoon, and evening. You might want to document um, what you ate, uh, maybe a self-care thing, maybe a work schedule thing or your schedule for the day. Different items can go on there. Every day has the four by six and every day came with a say hello to Monday, Tuesday, etc. And then it's blank on the opposite side. So every day repeats in this manner. So we're going to put this together and find our formula using this kit. And I've already gone through it and kind of made the piles of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, et cetera, et cetera. It also came with chipboard. So these fit into the two by twos as well. And then these fit into the two by twos as well. So that's why I had those out. We have some uh, wood uh, tiny phrase, uh, what are these labels? They too have days of the week on them. And then the random cards are the stories of the week, which a lot of people have been making the title and your reason why. So one of these cards, these are the few one-offs that, that happen. So we will figure out how to use those into our project. So those are getting incorporated. And then I also got the You, Me, and Us kit. This was an additional add-on. This one comes with this great die cut piece. So these are cutting out. So we're going to use that. There's a currently tag, this dear you love me half circle page, very big you, me, us, um, title pieces, some ampersands, and then a bunch of vellum pieces. So once again, with these, I do believe there are seven of these like Polaroid little frames and each color coordinates with a day of the week that she kind of printed. So I, th I do believe Monday was the red. So we will be de delineating those. And then these are a bunch of symbols like plus signs, ampersands, hearts, a few two by two squares. You can see all of the dummy yummy goodness. There's some quotation marks. So we're gonna incorporate these. And then the other delightful little thing are these cards, which are two by two. So hence I pulled those out. That say they all have the Monday, you know, Tuesday in the corner with just a letter. And then it's me and then you and then us on them. So I definitely love that approach to, in essence, the relationships in your house. So probably me, you know, what do I do for myself each day? What do I do probably you for Valentina each day? And then what do I do or, you know, and I'm the main character for us, you know, for the family. And so each one has them for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So I thought this was a great prompt, you know what I mean? for your storytelling. So something that I do, in essence, I'm going to look for a self-care item every day. What do I do for specifically to make Valentina smile every day? And what do I do for my family every day? Will probably be the smaller photos that go into the two by twos. So those are some of my thoughts. So let's just put this together. Let me get all the page protectors and I will fast forward through the process and then be at the end and outro so you can see a final flip through and that way we can work on my formula. So I'll probably sketch something out with you as well so that we know, like I said, cause last year I did this too and I was trying to find, oh, side note before we tangent off into the, this was my formula last year. So this is how I was able to know photo journaling, you know, photo, 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 like how many I needed because I had a formula. This worked well, seeing it, I made the notes two to three full page. I need three plus horizontal four by six and I need eight to 12 vertical three by fours per day. So that was my formula. This was what I did last year. And then last year we had these words, those big title pieces, you know, I used them that said sunset, sunrise, day, night, morning, evening. I did all of those, but those ended up coming out of my album. If you're familiar with my channel and they're just in my story album because my album got way thick last year. I also did flat lays every day, so I got to get ready, an evening routine in my purse, current shoes. You know what? I actually think I vetoed this last minute. I didn't do the flat lays. I did do the rooms, so I did talk about living room, kitchen, bedroom. This got done. I did do the outfit every day, which I did love. So we're going to think about something like that that I can do every day as well. The news, I did the news. And here's the relationship. So I think, I don't think I did this part last year as a story, but I think this year with these cards, that will be exactly what I do. Myself, me and Miguel, me and Valentina, me and the dogs, Vale and the dogs, Vale and dad, and then dad and the dogs. So that might be the flat lays and the relationships might be sort of a theme for my week in the life because I think I skipped that. 
And then last year with Day in the Life was all about color. And I did want to have a co like a color day, but I don't think I incorporated it in my album as well. And then I had other things like weather, screenshots, the books, TVs, eating, crafts, and where I stand. Where I stand is always a fun one to do. I did do that at my old house. Because I remember I always went around every day because that was my, instead of an outfit photo, I went around every day and did kind of like a shoe with a flower in my garden put picture. And that was really cute. So where I stand could work again this year because I didn't do it for two years. Um, and then I had I ideas because my daughter was at O2B. So I did standing at the O2B mat, walking the dogs, morning coffee in front of my chiro tables. I'm a chiropractor and in front of my plants. And so what I mean by that, let me just see if I can grab something to show you this repeating thing that I'm sh talking about. Okay, here is an example of that where I stand I did. I did this one in 2021. So it was me changing my shoes every day. Like I went to work or I didn't go to work. And it was, you know, here's, this is my, this was shopping like at Home Depot. This was my garden. This was my garden. This was shopping. I think that was like Home Goods or TJ Maxx. This is my garden. This was my neighbor's garden. And then this is my garden. So I liked it, right? It was a repeating thing. And actually this, I, this, I may have already answered my question. This is what I might do for my repeat um, um, picture because I did the outfits last year. Last year was an outfit a day that I did. So where I stand definitely may work out. So yeah, so what I'm going to do, let's, I guess I, I kind of said it before, let's put it together. You'll let's fill out. I'll make my design this week for the formula I need. And then I will write out where the stories and my photographs will concentrate on for this project. That way it gives you a little bit of ideas. I'm sure there's other creators that are putting theirs together. And I just want to be part of the inspiration for you when you, um, and 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 yeah, what is it like? And in, get involved in this project. It's really fun. I like I said, I've done it for seven years already. I've done December. Okay, so I do start off by cutting down all of my acetate pages, and what I did was um, I always make sure because I think I always second guess like the seven by eight and a quarter. So I did do a little a hair longer than seven inches just so that they would hang over the page tractors a little bit more not a big deal whatsoever but that's just how i went ahead and cut them down when i go ahead and adhere them you know so i'm making sure that they don't kind of go outside of the album and they worked out just fine but then here i am going through my ones and i'm like okay let me get them in order monday tuesday wednesday there we go and i have two wednesdays i did not get friday so that's why i knew i was like losing my mind and i'm like oh I have two Wednesdays and no Friday, so that stinks, and don't get me wrong, I could make a fuss about it, but I don't want to make a fuss over one missing acetate, like, it's fine. <laughs> so here I was just going through um, all of the little plastic uh, uh, banners that we have, and I'm going to use a lot of these elements in the 2 by 2 pocket squares. So I decided, well here at first I'm putting like the black one in the front and then the red one in the back, but I decided to switch it up because once I get out the little square 2 by 2 cards for Monday, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, they are all red and so I flip it. So I was like, let's just keep like all of the color facing forward on the right side and then when you change it over to the back side, It'll have the black one. So I'm kind of feeling like I might do the front is going to be like little photos. And then in the back, if I have enough of ephemera per se, like, you know, wrappers and receipts and packaging from things, then the back side will have that. So I really liked the Monday colorful word to go on the acetate, but it kind of gets lost and it needed something on the back to hold more weight so that it didn't look lost on the text on text because it's like the same font so i thought about putting vellum and that did help a little bit but i did like the pocket cards and i'm just kind of thinking if i don't use the pocket cards for the back of this where am i putting it like i was looking i'm like am i putting it in this you know four by four um three by four pocket page or maybe can i have it in the back and it gives enough of a white backing for those texts on acetate to stand out so I like this idea, and so I'm going to put a paper clip on it and come back to it. So I haven't started gluing anything at this point, because I'm like, let me think about that. Because if they're all 3x4s in the back, like words like Wednesday 
and Thursday that have a little bit more letters and they made it into a three stack of letters rather than two um, threw off that element a little bit. In the end, I do commit to it, so I don't know if I keep the footage in of me gluing all of that stuff down, but in the end, the word of the, the name of the day does go on the acetate, and I have the 3x4 pocket card in the back for all of the days of the week, and I do like the way that turned out. So right now, you're just seeing me kind of commit to it with paperclip and like move on and then just get the rest of the pages done. This sort of little, I don't want to say it's little, but because it is a lot, this prep process helps so so much if you've ever done this project you know what an undertaking it is to well at least for me after years of doing it doing this prep work is is a make or break situation for for me i am a completer i do not have this project looming in the background i like to have it done within a week after or so with you know in case i'm still working on the journaling because i like to type it up for this project um if you don't and you don't prep anything similar with December daily it is so easy to fall behind and then there it's so easy to give up because it seems like the biggest task on planet earth and I give kudos to all of my fellow creators and scrappers that say haven't completed last year's yet and they're still like working on it I don't I, my brain wouldn't wouldn't commute you know comprehend that sort of thing so for me I'm a completer so whether it's a little bit of photos and a little bit of journaling at least it gets done or if I'm able to stick with it every day and do all my journaling and type it up at the end of the night which did I did do last year helps so much because then all you have to do is print your photos and put them into the pockets which also is why having a somewhat of a formula to know what pictures you're looking for is very important so I just continue on this pattern every day it was assigned like a color like Thursday I think right now is all yellow Friday is all green elements and I do like that whole color scheme idea to this so I like it this kit very much is colorful and I do enjoy it and what I also find great for it as well things that I've, I that I know worked well last year too for me to get in the photo if you are an uh, iPhone user and have an Apple watch it was a game changer last year. I learned it from Linda Loves Creating. She, there's a timer on, and or your your watch acts like a, a timer or be a remote. So you can, you know, set up your camera like in your bedroom or in your bathroom and then hit the timer on your watch or hit the watch to take the photo. And I was able to get in so many more photos last year than I ever have in the past. Because usually I'm just the one taking all the photos. So that definitely helps. And honestly, doing the journaling at the end of the night, like right before bed, keep like a little, you know, uh, even if it's scrap paper like, or a list pad, just jot down all the things you want to remember. And that helps so much so that when you go back in, if you do longhand journaling, you have the highlights ready to go. Last year, I know I also concentrated on a lot of gratitude per day. Like I think I had, there was a card that was, I always made sure I had four I think it was a quad card so it was, there was four gratitudes per day and I do like that too because I flipped through my last album and I liked reading those again because some of the things with this project is intended you forget about those little details so you know the gratitude per day and I remember one of them was like you know Moana had no accent that was my doxy who was a puppy last year um you know those small victories are very important so um do the prep work you know, follow a formula. I do do um, a formula on notebook paper, so I will come to that right now once I go back to, uh, you know, real time and show you what the formula comes down to with what the setup I have so far looks like. And all I did was use um, liquid glue to attach all of the acetate and double-sided tape for the back pocket, and it worked fine. So let's go through my initial setup now. Everything is in here sort of ready to go and what I think I am definitely doing as far as my formula is concerned. So I will be scrap lifting the lovely Morgan Beale and she took this piece of the pattern paper and did like um, individual like of her husband, her and her two kids and then her two pets. And I love the idea so I will go ahead and take pictures individually of us right now and make the title piece that lays over it. And then I'll have this as the backing, which was from last year's box um, of the main kit and have that ready to go. I also think I'm gonna hole punch this here though, just haven't decided. And then just put like a, maybe a family like selfie or a photo of all of us together if I can get one. 
I have the currently tag from the you and me kit ready to go as well. And then this is where we'll start with the pictures for a week in the life. So this turned out great. Um, I used a little bit of the Nuvo glue for the acetate piece and then just used the classic tape runner for the back. And so all of these are ready to go. So this will either hold journaling or an extra photo. So this one, this little card right here though, just isn't included in my formula. So just depending on the day, I will either put an extra photo plus journaling or just have a lot of journaling. So we have the four three by fours back in front. We have the Hello Monday on every page. And then between, I believe I have it in my formula and I'll show you in a moment. Um, between here and here, I'll put like a full, full page photo for the front and the back. Then we have the two by twos. I have gone through and put all of the red pieces from the kit in here. So those could either garnish photos or be um, little spacers in here as well. And then every day is mapped out with the me, you and us per day. And so here I also in my formula have the amount of two by twos I potentially could use or um, fill it with maybe just like I said, uh, was mentioning like ephemera from the day, like if there was packaging or a new tag to a clothes that we wear or something that we eat, I can put packaging things on here too. Then I went ahead and did all of the stitching with these cards, you can see, or can you, let me bring it closer. I actually had rainbow thread. How perfect is that? So the extra pieces from cutting it down from the six by eight, I use just like Allie Edwards did. So every day, I just haven't decided if it will be exactly what I eat or maybe something that, um, you know, Valentina talked me that could be funny too, like conversations with Valentina. So I just haven't decided what this one's gonna be. And then this will be a photo as well and or space. Then I did take all of, so with the label tags in here, there are a few that, two per day that says Monday was and Monday observations. So these could adorn a photo as well if I have them. I just have them every and every day ready to go just so that I remember to use them. And then the high and low card is there. So then it also leaves room for those four by sixes. And so each of these days will repeat here. And, it, and I have, like I said, these ready to go per day, Tuesday was, just so that I make sure I use my products. Then with these, I'm just leaving them in here as well because you do see me use just at least one of the tags here. And then I did put the number two, so that I only use one through seven. And I used a few other ones that were um, placeholders. But every day has the coordinating little pieces that match with it. So Wednesday is the pink day. Thursday is yellow. So all the yellow pieces are ready to go. Thursday, that rainbow stuff is here. And then the Thursday here. So my kit was incorrect and I do not have a Friday printed sheet. And I just decided, you know what, let it go because if I have to contact them and then they would send me another pack of acetate, like I just don't want them to waste money on shipping and stuff for me. Like, yeah, it sucks that I don't have Friday acetate, but it's not the end of the world. Only I really will know that it's incorrect here. So therefore it's incorrect here. And then it's also gonna be incorrect on this page too. But so que sera, sera, as they say. <laughs> I like don't feel like complaining for a missing sheet. So the rest of the tag ones I was saying are in here ready to go. Oh, and then the last thing I wanted to show is that I had the rest of whatever I didn't use yet in just a six by eight ready to go in the back. So everything that was just not utilized yet so that I can use those as embellishment on photos or anything extra that happens. So I did show you last year how I had this ready to go. So definitely have the flat lays just ready to go. And then these are the three by fours, then a full page photo that's back to back. Then that that page card that um, I should just left it out and went through it with you. Then this sheet. So since the front says say hello, I just have it, it mimicked for the backs so that that way I know either it's gonna be journaling or a photo. Then I have the two by two squares. So that'll mimic that and then the four by six, and then this is the sewn card. And then I could always add another page that's back to back with either a photo, large photo or collage. So my formula is, or in the amount of photos I need, three to four full page for photos. So those account for those spots right there, but really it should be two to four because I don't, if I don't do a full page here, I don't need it up there. So it should be 
two to four full page photos. I need three horizontal four by six for these openings here. Seven to eight three by fours for here. Then 12 to 18 I wrote um, for the two by two photos, depending if they're photos and or memorabilia, you know, that I was mentioning um, for the day. So I think that's a good amount. I think. I almost feel like this is going on a little bit less is more, which is totally okay because like I said, I've done this project for so many years that I have a lot of photos take you know, That's always what's the concern because don't get me wrong. So look, like that's just the stuff ready to go and that's not including any of my photos yet. So these albums do get chunky really quickly. Fantastic. So please subscribe if you haven't done so and you're curious to see Week in the Life done. I will be doing it the week of April 22nd. I believe the community is doing it through the 28th or 29th. So I will be following along with Allie Edwards. So check back with me during the week as I put it together and then definitely for an album flip through after that week um, here on my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Give this video a thumbs up and until next time, everyone, bye.